Uh, welcome back to this course on carbon footprint calculator. Why do we need a carbon footprint calculator and how to develop one? Uh, we would be focusing today on a very interesting calculation which is on offsetting the carbon footprint or redux reducing the carbon footprint. So how to go about it, how to uh, design a calculator uh, which would calculate the reduction in the carbon footprint. Uh, for that, uh, I have taken an example of uh, India, uh, the Mumbai region of India, uh, where uh, the electricity is supplied from the grid and the grid electricity is majorly from the fossil fuel based uh, power plant, that is from the coal based power plant. And the idea is to uh, calculate the reduction in the carbon footprint by substituting the grid electricity uh, with the rooftop solar photovoltaic system, which is the renewable energy system. Uh, for that, uh, the calculator should consider uh, the amount of grid electricity which is presently being used. Uh, then uh, the calculator should uh, have the data as to how much of the electricity would be generated by the rooftop solar PV system. Uh, and that is how much we would be substituting the grid electricity with the solar PV. Uh, the third information we would be requiring is the carbon intensity of the grid electricity. By carbon intensity, we uh, understand uh, the emission factor of the electricity which is supplied from the grid. And uh, finally, we must also know what is the carbon intensity of the electricity generated by the rooftop solar PV system. So with this data, one can uh, use uh, and set uh, the goals as to how much carbon footprint uh, would be offset per week, per month or per year. So the carbon footprint calculator would be able to do that. Uh, for Mumbai region, the carbon intensity has been assumed uh, to be 0.82 kgs of CO2 equivalent uh, per kilowatt hour of electricity generated uh, in Mumbai grid electricity. Uh, and uh, we also assume the carbon intensity of the electricity generated by the solar system which is negligible but it is uh, considered as 0 0.04 kgs of carbon dioxide equivalent per kwh of electricity generated okay so this data we would be giving as input uh, to the calculator if you have some other region then the uh, carbon intensity of the grid electricity would be different okay accordingly we have to choose that number uh, now Using this uh, values, uh, we can calculate the carbon footprint offset by this formula. So this formula you can use in your coding uh, for calculating the reduction in the carbon footprint. Uh, so what is that formula? The formula is uh, considering how much grid electricity is consumed per month. Uh, and then what is the carbon intensity of the grid electricity? Uh, minus uh, what is the electricity which is generated by the solar system and the carbon intensity of the solar system. So this if we have this four uh, data that is well, how much is the electricity consumed, how much is the electricity generated, how much is the carbon intensity of grid electricity and renewable, uh, we can calculate the carbon footprint uh, reduced or carbon footprint offset by this formula which is can be which can be uh, put in your excel sheet or in your python code uh, as an example uh, let me uh, take one case study wherein uh, i show that there are around uh, 74 solar panels which are installed in mumbai uh, and each panel solar panel solar photovoltaic panel is of a capacity 545 watt peak okay so if you assume uh, the Mumbai region and if you do a study as to how much is the solar energy available then it uh, we get a number of 5.2 peak sunlight hours per day in Mumbai. So that comes to a 40 kilowatt per peak as the installed capacity of the solar PV system. So 40 kilowatt peak if it is the installed capacity then into the hours that is 5.2 peak hours would give you kilowatt hours and this is daily so if you multiply it with 365 that would give you the annual electricity which is generated and uh, that uh, that is an annual electricity annual solar energy which is available and into 18 percent would be the conversion efficiency 
so that would give us the annual electricity which is generated so if you do these calculations that is uh, take the capacity as 40 kilowatt per peak uh, of the solar pv panel into 5.2 peak sunlight hours into 365 days which is for annual into 18% then you get the annual electricity generated 35677 kilowatt hour per year so if you if you feed into your calculator the location uh, the location once you uh, put in the calculator should take uh, the average peak sunlight hours for that location which is 5.2 if it is for mumbai then for annual calculations it can straight away multiplied with 365 and depending upon the parameters which you give which type of solar system you are putting in it would uh, take the input of the efficiency value the rated efficiency value so uh, here this calculator can take efficiency of 18% and it calculates 35000 units per year so this is the renewable energy which is available from the system and uh, then that 35000 or 30 to be more precise 35000 677 units per year uh, would offset the uh, carbon footprint okay so how much is that so that multiplied by 0.82 if you multiply with 0.82 uh, that would be around 28700 uh, kg of co2 equivalent which is being offset okay so this is approximately the uh, uh, carbon footprint offset how do we calculate that so what i had done is that i had taken uh, 35000 unit approximately uh, which is the electricity generated by solar into add multiplied it with 0.82 okay uh and uh, that much is the uh that that comes to 28700 kg of co2 equivalent uh, which is a carbon footprint which is offset okay now how i got 0.82 what i have done is that um, i had taken the specific uh, uh emission factor for the coal based power plant for the mumbai region 0.82 depending upon your location uh, you have a different uh, emission factor and accordingly the multiplication would change okay so uh, as a thumb rule what you need to do is that just multiply the electricity which is generated by the solar pv system uh, and the emission factor of the grid electricity and you get the carbon footprint offset from the system so installation of 40 kilowatt solar pv system in mumbai can potentially offset about 28700 kg of co2 of carbon emissions per year that would have been produced if the grid electricity generated from fossil fuels have been used instead so this is how the carbon footprint calculator can be used to to quantify the reduction in the carbon footprint or the carbon footprint offset calculator is the name which we can use for that okay so this additional feature one can put in the calculator along with the carbon footprint calculation so one feature could be carbon footprint calculation and the second feature could be carbon footprint offset calculation okay